Okay. Less than, okay. Um. Okay. So let's see. I see. I, I think it's. Can you let me know if it's up again? The. Yeah. Yeah. Your stream's up. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and it's like a couple yeah. seconds delay. I guess good now. Yeah. Okay. Um. But so basically, I guess it's kind of like that, right? Let me see it. Yeah, kinda, yeah, I see it. Right, it's like a, it's a scope shot, but you get you can you can do stuff like you can move around faster. You can see a lot of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but then I'm gonna try to do it right away. So if I'm gonna, basically, yeah, you have to wait for it to reload because it's not gonna, it's not gonna fire unless you wait for it to reload. So you gotta do stuff like, and then you shoot again. And then shoot again. So it's kind of it's a yeah. it's a rhythm thing. Yeah. Okay. I see. Now I see. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So timing issue. You gotta wait for it to reload. But I think it would still help you here. Um. Yeah. You could try doing that. Another thing. You could try is I don't know. Just kind of like working on the the timing of your shots because yeah. Again, like you're pressing a lot of mouse one but you you're, it looks like you're spamming shots or something like that mm -hmm. so if you just like focus on i guess a little bit more aiming i think you'll hit your shots a little bit better okay um yeah so let's go back here um i'm going oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna go back to the the video you're recording okay so, uh, this one. Alright, so we talked about quick scoping. Um, so at this video again, another thing is you do actually fight this tracer for like at least six seconds, I think. And I think that whole time, I don't, I don't recall if you called out for help at all. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's. I think the Hanzo saw that you were getting attacked so he was helping you out um but i think if you just called it out maybe somebody could help you out like faster yeah i called out for help after um i think so almost when she the disengaged fight... yeah, yeah 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 she disengaged and then um when she re-engaged that's when like i was backing up and that yeah i guess that's when i called for it yeah yeah i mean i don't know if there's like a perfect time to say it but i feel like if you give your teammate enough time they, they could help you out Mm -hmm. um, because you, you did fight this tracer for quite a bit and your whole team was actually next to you I'd say like on your right yeah um cause it kinda sucks that you got killed here cause you can't push with their team your team technically has to wait for you cause you're the yeah. main healer here but I don't think they do so they, they keep pushing in and stuff like that right? yeah see oh someone wanted to, okay yeah it says like the main tank wants to attack the objective yeah so you guys your team just keeps pushing in it's kind of just like when we're ready we go in and it's not you guys don't really group up a lot mm -hmm. um but whatever it's matchmaking right okay so another thing that i saw here so you're, the trace is back I'm trying to harass you again <laughs> yeah yeah Okay, so nice sleep, nice sleep. Okay, so what what health are you at right now? Two. Yeah, yeah. So what should <laughs> what should you be doing here? Uh, seeking um, like a health pack or yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, there's a health pack right here, right? The big one. Yeah. The the mega. Yeah. Yeah. So the mega that that'll boost you up. Um. You have a nade coming up soon, I think. Mm -hmm. You could have thrown that too, but yeah. Oh, there's also there's also the mini that's right here, I think. Or it yeah, was it here? Yeah, it's like, no, it's like to the left. Yeah, I I don't I didn't even know that till I watched this uh, water view. Let me see where it was again. Oh yeah, the, the chase. Yeah, right to the right. Okay, right here. Yeah. Yeah, so right here, right. So you, you could you could have grabbed that too. I mean, you could have grabbed it, 
after you're at 100 health too instead of you got yeah because you got hit by that fire strike took away 100 of your hp you have two left that's a bad spot to be in <laughs> yeah um so yeah there's a bunch of things i think you could have done there to just like keep yourself topped up mm -hmm. um so i guess just think about that sometimes where it, you know because you can't really heal people when you're dead so you gotta stay alive yeah. first right so you got kind of pri prioritize your own life i think in this case Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you could have grabbed the that mini. You get hit here. You could drop the nade on yourself too and get a hundred health back. Yeah. Uh, you walk in, unlucky, you get killed by the moral orb. But yeah, so there's a lot of things I think you could have done there, um, in terms of like self heal. Yeah, I feel like in those moments too, I get um, like I get like so engrossed in like the fight, like I don't actually like watch my own like I guess like my stats. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know I was like to watching this. I never knew I was like that low. Yeah, you know, I yeah, always yeah. wondered like I wonder how I died to them where orb. I'm like, thought I had like even if they were to kill me, I thought I had like a little more time. Yeah, but they killed me so fast. But like I guess yeah, I was at two health. So yeah, yeah. Um, I mean I make that mistake a few times, a lot too. But you know, it's like I guess. If you start paying more attention to it, it's just gonna help you out. Yeah. Um, so I had a question here. Yeah, you nano the Hanzo here. It's was that the heat of the moment, or did you have reason for that? He was ulting, uh -huh. and it kind of felt like last fight was like approaching slowly. So I was kind of like, okay. I also was under the assumption that I still thought like it kind of like boosted it. So I was like, okay, maybe mm -hmm. um this helped turn the fight. So I like I nanoed him. Okay, I think if that was the case, I mean, if you had a reason for it, that's cool. Um, mm -hmm. But now that you know that it doesn't, I guess you, you could yeah. probably make a different decision next time. Yeah, I would have given it to the Genji then, because he did kill two when he bladed. Like, yeah, a yeah, later yeah. On. yeah, I was thinking he would actually be a good target for you to throw it at, because I think you, you press tab at... Uh, I don't remember what. At some point you press tab and he did have ult. Um, mm-hmm. So maybe it was okay yeah so right here you could have gave it to the the genji um i don't know if the zarya is high charge but if she was you could have dropped it to her too um yeah i guess you can give it to the brig i mean she's kind of like she definitely stays alive a lot with the nano um so yeah all three of them i think would have been or at least genji and maybe brig might have been better targets yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but I mean I see your reasoning for that. I mean definitely if that was the case, uh the Hanzo definitely would have killed all those people in the grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I was trying to like understand why, because it looked like you were also in a rush, so you just picked him. Mm-hmm. But you also turned directly at him to throw it, so <clears throat> um, but yeah, stop in at any time if you have some questions about stuff too. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's always harder because like you're playing like with groups, right? And like you don't, there's almost like no common goal. And when you're in like a group, it's kind of like when people are tilted, they they don't care if they win or lose. It's kind of like like they just like do it for like a, like pride almost, right? So like. Mm -hmm. In a team setting, it's different because, like, I feel like in a team, you're more um, goal oriented. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like playing like pickup groups like that sucks. Like, yeah, our brig was like so aggressive, but like it's almost like you don't want to tell them like just calm down and back up because then they might get like tilted or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Uh, personally, yeah. I haven't had much luck with looking for groups, so it's actually Wait, sorry. I haven't had much luck with LFG. I think it's like easier for me to just do matchmaking like solo. Oh or really? Duo, or duos? Yeah, I mean, it's just like, I guess I, I, I don't know. For me, I personally just have a problem where people pick roles that they aren't really good at. Oh, okay, okay. I mean that—that's just my experience. Um. Yeah. But I mean, it, I mean, it looks like you won a few games with this group, though. Yeah, we played like three, and we run like one three, so. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so I'm I'm not sure if the stat matters here, but you have really low unscoped accuracy. So, so yeah, if you spammed a little bit less, it would definitely yeah. go up. Yeah. Because yeah, I tend to like just spam down like chokes and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. but I guess like as Ana, I have to keep like um. Like it's not it's not like Zen or Lucio where you kind of just have like uh. Like Zen's almost like a shield breaker, right? Like at least in my eyes, like you can just like spam down like chokes, hope for like you get like a, a headshot here and there. Yeah, I mean that that's. I mean, I guess, but you don't have to just hope to get lucky, right? I mean, if you're actually aiming for certain things and you hit it, mm -hmm. that's the, I think that's better than just like randomly throwing it in and hoping it kills somebody or something like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. If you just focus on shooting particular people instead of just spamming it in, that's gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Just I guess in general, like it might end up being the same where you hit the same guy you're actually spamming. But you know, it just feels better I think to to be in control of where your shot where your shots are going, and yeah. how you impact the fight and stuff. So for me, when I was looking at here, the team comp, it seemed a little bit interesting to me here. Because I guess usually this sort of pairing doesn't really go well. At least in my, at least the way I, I see it. Yeah. No, I think um, the Zarya switches to Roadhog. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, in general, it, it's, it doesn't seem like it would work out. I mean, you could win a few games like that, but it's just not... As nice as like other heroes with the wrist. Yeah. Or something. yeah, yeah, you're right. He switches. Yeah, I guess I could always be a little more like vocal when I see like a bad comp. Uh, you, I guess, yeah, you could, um, you could mention it and just not, like, put a lot of, like, emotion in it, that sort of thing. Yeah. I, mean, I guess yeah. it's, because, right, it's, yeah, it's matchmaking, right? It's all these random people that, like you said, have different goals and stuff, like, it might not do anything. Um, yeah, that's true. But I don't know, there's a few times where I get lucky where you, you say something, like, just, like, a general communication saying, hey, I guess it's a bad team comp, can somebody switch? Like, some people are happy to switch, they just have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I had a problem with what just happened there. Basically, there's a fire strike that comes at you from that doorway over there. Uh, yeah. So let me see right here, right here again. Like it just it took like two, three seconds or two seconds maybe to hit you, and I think you walked right into it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if you were in the heat of the moment again, but like, you know, just like general reaction time there would be good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I had a problem with this one too. Can you tell me, I guess, do you, do you think your positioning here is decent? Uh... Technically no, because mm -hmm. I am like exposed again, and there's not a lot of uh, cover I could take. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, again, like cover is really important for you, right? Um, I think you're you stand in this spot. Um, else I guess later on down the line too, and I think you get punished for just standing here. But I guess you could have done things where. I guess even playing something like this, or just somewhere further behind, or even the the other side, um, when you when you're coming in, I think. Yeah. Uh, I guess you, you technically would have known about it then, though. But, but yeah, just just general idea though. There, there's probably better spots again. Like you, you kind of just have to feel that out. But it just doesn't seem right to be in the open, especially like there, because mm -hmm. you're you're definitely dead if somebody like really goes for you. 
Okay, so then where should I have gone? Okay, so I guess like resuming this clip. See, I like to the left. There's the Rhine, and I think there's a Mercy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of like another reason too. Like I kind of like almost like wanted to rotate around. Okay. Okay. So I can so see I that. To be on this side. This side. Yeah. So yeah. What should I have done? Should I just gone through like the room um, and gone to where I am now, or you could have done that. I mean, I guess. I guess. I guess I, I don't know the exact answer, but I mean, would it be bad if you stood there? Like, do you think that uh, would be no. an okay spot? Yeah, that would have been. I think yeah, that would be better. Uh, so, I mean, there's I the there's Hanzo multiple team, spots. Yeah, yeah, there's there's. I think there's multiple spots, but just. Let's see what what else could you've done. So you said you were you're going this way because the Ryan was there, right? Yep. Okay. Like, should I have should I have like gone through the back, like you know where our mega is? Uh, you like, you could have you could position? have you could have done that too. Um, I guess the downside with that would be while you're making that travel, you can't heal anybody, but you're you'll yeah. definitely be safer. Um, yeah. I don't know if so it's like, at what yes. point what, what's more valuable, right? Like, do you? I guess technically, if they take some damage, as long as I'm alive, right? I can always heal them up. But then, yeah, I mean, you could have gone that way. It looks like everybody is still pretty topped up. Your Arissa's just chilling behind a shield. Your yeah, I think your Briggs in there. Your Hog self heals. It, I think you could have gone in the back as well. Okay. Um, but I, I guess if you were gonna make kind of it's not super sneaky but you just you don't want to stay in the open right just kind of make a transition to somewhere else yeah um, okay yeah yeah that was a complete i don't know like that was like uh i wanted to like heal and shoot him but like i don't know if something happened in my head i just like, <laughs> yeah yeah Um, I guess I, again here, I think you moved again because now instead of the Reinhardt on the left side, you saw the D.Va. I think that's what you're thinking? Like you started moving here? Well, no, I mean, initially I was kind of like following the Hanzo, but then, yeah, as the D.Va pressured, I like backed up more, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, I think that's a good adjustment on your part, right? You don't want to get like, you don't want to be in the face of the D.Va if you can help it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. So I guess, yeah, like, I think it's okay for you to be here now, kind of, because there's nobody, but it's not an ideal spot, right? Because mm -hmm. if somebody just happens to be here and he decides, hey, there's Anna, and he just goes for this headshot and you die, that's, I don't know if that's unlucky or just like bad positioning. Right, because yeah, you, sure. you, you could have hid, you could have done something else. It's pretty... Okay. Yeah, you just don't want to make it easy for your t your enemy to just kill you, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it's kind of cool the game. I like that you're rotating again, like just getting away from the danger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unlucky here, she's diving you. Um, I don't know. This is kind of hard again, but you basically sleep dart into the diva matrix. Um, yeah. I I don't know if it was you were panicking or anything like that. Yeah, that um, was like uh, she was in my face, kind of like an instinct. Like just yeah, that was like a panic reaction almost. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, when she started flying in with the rocket too, it's just kind of like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess if we look at it again, it seems like, I guess if you were going to do it again, like you see all these, right, all the Matrix and stuff. Yeah. You, you're just shooting it right into it. Um, I mean, it, it it is really, it happens so fast. I guess I don't really like fault you here for doing it, but mm -hmm. if you could have waited, um... I think that would have been cool. You just wait out the Diva Matrix, just play a little bit more smart. Yeah. Right. You could have slept there after the Matrix went away, and then just you know just run. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's. But your team saves you here, so it's okay. But. But just like, you could have also played it better. Like it's okay. Nothing bad happened here, right? But 
it could have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so that's another thing that I'm not really, I don't really like here. Um, can you kind of tell me, I'm, I'm just going to go back to that part. Can you tell me what you could have done here differently? Or do you, or I guess, do you think it's good here, what you're doing? I guess, like, in hindsight, I could have just not engaged, kind of, like, stay behind the hog and kind of, like, pocket him, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I could have, like, yeah, like, because, yeah, these hogs more than capable to take on, like, a drunk out 1v1, so I should have... I guess I kind of got like, uh, what's it, uh, tunnel vision here. I kind of wanted, like, really wanted to kill on Junkrat, so I wanted to help. But instead, I could have maybe like stayed in like more cover, more like a covered position. Kind of, if he needs help, I can heal him, but also look onto the point mm -hmm. uh, for heals too. Because I think this fight we lose because I think uh, people die on the point. I can't remember. Mm, yeah, I don't remember. Um, I, I will get to that, but yeah, you. There's cover here for you. I guess if you really want to, you could throw something at him, or you can shoot him there. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I feel like you go, you go into his face. Yeah. And he, I <laughs> you, you could have actually. I guess it would have been bad if he killed you here, right? Because your main heals yeah. again. Um, you kind of put yourself in that spot to be kind of a DPS Anna here. Mm -hmm. Um. Just try not to if you don't have to, right? Because your main job is to heal. Yep. And again, yeah, just don't want to put yourself in danger like that. Um, I mean, I, I occasionally do. Actually, I do a lot of DPS Anna as well. But it, I think it's like frowned upon in some sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. No, oh, I guess we didn't. Oh, we didn't lose point here. Never mind. Hmm. So there's one more thing here. It's it's kind of with health packs again. Like just just watch your health, right? It goes to 80. Um and then I like, see what happens now. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I heal up for like Oh uh, yeah, let's actually see how how long it takes, yeah. So you're actually standing next to like three health packs again. Mm -hmm. Right, so if we go back, um, let's see. So there's one right here, right? You could you got that one, or when it comes back, um, there's this big mega you can get to. Um, because I don't think the Hanzo takes it. No. Yeah, he doesn't. And the last one would also be, I guess, your nade again. Like, you threw it. I don't think it did anything. I think you were probably trying to throw it to kill the Junkrat. Um, I don't know if it hit him. Maybe it did? Um, but yeah, ultimately, you, you, could, you could get health here, right? N nothing's yeah. happening. You could just say you're going to get a heal, or you're just going to quickly go get the heal and say... Just let your team know you you won't be able to heal them, so they should play more passive or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but yeah, sitting at the 80, I mean, you're not in a situation where you can't go grab the health, so might as well. Okay. Um. So the positioning here, I, I see what you're trying to, I guess, can you tell me why you're positioned back here? Um. It was mainly for like a sight line. Mm-hmm. And like I just wanted to be able to like uh see into like that uh crevice like over there because I think yeah the doom the Orisa and the the hog yeah the, the hog the, them them three clumped over there so right I was in this position so like instead of going all the way to where the Hanzo is like down that like alleyway mm -hmm. I found like okay the quickest way would be to go to like the right side rotate over and then look like down this angle to get like heels onto them. Yeah, so I mean, I get the idea of it, but I, I'm not. It doesn't look like you're really able to heal them from this spot, though. Like they're also pushed really up there, but mm -hmm. you you weren't really able to contribute to much here. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure 
where the best position could have been. Like, maybe you could have walked down here, like, inside where the Hanzo was, and just played inside that house. Um, I, I don't know if you could have played higher in the forward here. I don't, I don't know if it's, like, particularly good here. But I think you would also see yeah. more. I mean, you, you'd be... Enemies could come here and kill you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you could play around with like different spots because I, I I just don't think you were able to contribute to the fight right here. You weren't doing much healing, um, and you, yeah, you sh it's almost like a five v whatever the enemy has. Um, so just kind of look for places where you can kind of just make more of an impact. Yeah. Okay. Well, it works out here though. Uh, so, so I, we were talking about this, but if we look at your health pool again, right? We were talking about how it was like pretty low. Yeah. Um. It was pr it was low all the way up until this point, right, where the brig actually <laughs> heals you. Yeah. So so yeah. Yeah, I didn't even notice. Like I knew I was like low, but I guess kind of like in that like the heat of the moment. Like my priority was like immediately just kind of like scope in and um keep the guys up. Mm -hmm. But then I guess at the same time I have to like keep myself up too in order to do that. So I should always like I guess be aware of my own health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like we said earlier, it's like you're not in danger. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think that's like a recurring thing that we saw. I think it happened at least twice now. Right. Just in general, just like be more. Just pay a little bit more attention to that. Yeah. I'm also like, used to playing um like regen heroes like Mercy and Zen too. Mm, okay. And like a lot of those times like you kinda like regenerate your own health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess like Ana doesn't, right? So I have to it's like mm. a habit, I guess I just have to get in my head, just like be more aware. Mm-hmm. Or you can just yeah, ask your your partner healer to just throw you a little heal. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, I don't. This is not necessarily wrong, but I just want to figure out or just just figure out your thought process here. Um, do you know why you nanoed your hog here? Oh, that was um, in my head it was like if any of those three just nanoed one of them. Oh, so you just picked one on the point. Yeah, because like in like I knew like Arisa, um Arisa, Brig and uh Hanzo not Hanzo, Hog were there and then like kinda going in I was like, okay, like the worst the worst target I can um nano here is Arisa. Or like so I just like you know, I just went for like two out of three, wouldn't be that bad. So that was kinda like a Hail Mary. Um mm -hmm. alts were coming in, the fight was like escalating, so I just kinda like yeah, that was definitely just a Hail Mary um nano. Okay, okay. Uh, so, right now, I heard fire in the hole, right? The junk rat does it. And you, yep. you do your nano right afterwards. You, do you think, is that why you nano? I think so. It was another, like, one of those um, panics where it's kind of like, okay, everyone's ulting. And mm -hmm. we just have to, like, I guess, like, kill them faster than they kill us kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. a nano could, like, boost or yeah, like, for assist sure. in the fight in that sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you could have nanoed a bunch of people here, um, but I guess you you, you don't want to make it like a full reaction to, like, mm -hmm. um. So I guess you're saying in this case, you're using the nano for offensive damage. Is it? Yeah, it was kind of like the fight was happening on point. Like everything was crashing down, so just. It was like a yeah, it was like a, a toss up to see if it would like help turn the fight in our favor. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not particularly wrong, but you can also kind of just wait it out a little bit too to see, um, when the nano would be more appropriate. 
Yeah, okay. Um, Because a lot of times, I mean, I use it for offensive stuff too, but it's also nice to just use it to as a defensive thing just to keep somebody. Because you get, right, you nano somebody and they get 300 HP, right? Yep. So that that's pretty cool. Um, so they can just stay alive longer. I mean, the Arisa wouldn't even be bad too, because the Arisa can fortify. Arisa can stay around a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, Brig would be okay too, but she gets blown by the tire. Um, yeah. So I think just think a little bit more about who you should nano instead of just like randomly throwing one. Might help you out sometimes too. Okay. Uh, this it's not really a big deal again, but I, I saw this when I was like uh, looking at it earlier. Your your nade actually fucks up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the soldier hit, it hit soldier. Yeah, yeah. So I hear somebody saying "stay on point." Yeah. Yeah, it's the um, the brig. It certainly looks like your fight is lost, though. Mm-hmm. So it should be probably like, get out. <laughs> yeah. I guess he doesn't realize that it's 99 or something. Or he thinks you guys could push it to 100 or something. I don't know. Yeah, or I think he thinks, like, it's always win. Like, I think he always thought it was, like, winnable, regardless of who we had versus who. Hmm. He also Zarya. I don't even, I don't know. But yeah, so what do you, what should you be doing here? Um, backing out, like resetting. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, cause you're definitely far enough where you could get out without dying. Yep. Um, so let's kind of see what you do here. You're kind of getting out, but you're also just like staying a little bit. Yeah. And this is kind of cool here. Your whole t- your teammates come back and they help you out here. Um, it's just like a mix of like, I guess like lucky things maybe, or like the brick stuns the Reinhardt, and you also sleep the Reinhardt. Mm-hmm. But like if he actually got off that shatter, you guys are your push is over again, I guess, and then you guys actually get staggered. Yeah. Right. So. So I guess. It would have been better, I think, to just... I mean, you guys get a good pick here. Um, mm-hmm. I guess... I, I don't know if you knew your teammates were coming back or anything like that. Um, but it's To me, it kind of seemed like it was just lucky that they spawned back and were behind you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice sleep. It worked out for you guys here. Um, okay, so right, the next thing I have noted, but just like, just focus on what you're doing with your, uh, your unscoped shots. Okay, right here. Um... So for me, from that, it kind of showed me that you were talking about the spamming stuff again. Like, yep. I do see you doing that. And yeah, you also... just click spam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just like, just be more mindful about how you're shooting. Okay. Like, you don't always have to be holding. Actually, do you press M1 or do you hold it? Um, In certain, like, in spam, like, when I want to spam or, like, I know, like, um, like, I'm, like, firing, like, repeatedly, I just hold it down. Hmm. But then, like, usually, like, if I'm, um, like, selectively, like, shooting, I'll, like, click. Like, I'll tap it. Oh, okay. Okay, got you. I guess that's preference there, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so going back, just, we already talked about it. But, yeah, the, the M1. Let's actually see what you do. So I, I don't know what happened there, but you, you kind of you did a shot here after your brig died. You shot again, like right here. Yeah. Um, not sure what's happening there. Um. 
You shot another one there. I'm not sure who you're trying to hit again. Yeah, this was just um if yeah, if you play the clip again, it's like I think it was like four to five like repeated shots. And that was just me holding the left mouse down, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah. Yeah, there's like four shots there, yeah. Yeah, usually when I um like I uh, when I do hip fire, I just hold uh, my left click. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'd have to go test. I don't know if it's actually. F I think it's the same speed though, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Let's go see. Actually. Um. I'm just gonna go back to the stream real quick. Just test it out. Yeah. Okay. I was just finding like a lot easier instead of like having like tap all the time like. I found out like as actually a couple months ago, where I found out like holding it was just auto fire for you, and I was like, "Oh, mm. that's like perfect." Never stop fighting for what you believe in. Okay, so that was me holding it. Okay. And then let me see what happens if I click it. It's rough. I think it's the same though. Like, I mean, obviously you have to click it at the exact same time where you're, where you can do it again after the reload. Yeah, like the reload. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, personally, I feel like if I hold M1, it's I lose control. I think. Like I waste mm -hmm. shots or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, it's personal preference again, but I mean, personally, I just. Or I guess in any case, you kind of want to just not waste shots, right? Because yeah. you're going to have to reload at a weird time or something like that. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I guess like a recurring theme is like just be more mindful with um, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that I think that helps a lot, right? Because you're, it's a, it's kind of like the way you beat other people is like you aim better and you're also thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, No, that's a nice sleep. Uh, I had a question here. I, it might not. It might be that there's no, nothing you could have done here. But for me, I feel like the positioning here is a little bit um, off here. Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess okay, I'll, I'll rewind it again. Just can you just kind of tell me what you were, what your thought process is? Um, okay. At this point here, or after? Yeah, yeah, like starting right now. Yeah. So I saw the mercy fly, and I saw. I wonder why I saw that. So I slept her, mm -hmm. and I know like there's a threat over there. Our um, Hanzo died. Mm -hmm. So now she's supercharged behind us, and like kind of like on the point, there's a tire going on, and like it would have been like suicide. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like backed up, but then I had no uh, heels on the point. Yeah, yeah. So I guess. That for me was kind of interesting. Where I guess it would make sense for you to back out, but then you also have two of your tanks just chilling on point. Yeah, and you're not able to help them out at all. So uh, I I don't actually know what the best thing is, but I don't think you're doing anything when you're standing there. Like you're not getting yeah. ult charge, you're not resetting. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you. You couldn't have done anything here, but again, like your your team staggers a a ton in this match or in, in the games in general. Yeah, like you guys lose soldier brig, and then your two tanks are trying to push up at this time. Like it seems yeah. like, I mean, in my opinion, it seems like it's a lost fight for you guys here. So it'd be better to just group up and just fight again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you guys keep going with this. Yeah, because especially too, like, if you even if you do want to reset, it's like everyone's like ulting, right? So it's kind of like, do you just go with the flow? Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, mm, what do you mean by that? Because like, yeah, like, like the moment um we had like two down, it's kind of like okay, all right, guys, let's consider like a reset, right? Like uh, automatically because you're down. Mm, but then most most of the time, I mean, I guess yeah. we'd have to look at like what ultimates you guys had. Like if you have a team wiping mm -hmm. ult, maybe it's okay for you guys to be like four v six. 
if your yep. four people have like for example if you had like hanzo dragon or sorry hanzo grab yeah grab dragon and you're able to just wipe the enemy with four people like yeah there's you probably don't need to back out for that um mm-hmm. i don't know what ult you guys had here um but yeah generally if you're down numbers and the the ults are kind of like similar i think backing out is probably okay there um but i guess the whole point is just saying like it's not that you're down one and you should just back up just it depends on the situation right yeah okay but yeah in this case it definitely seems like your tanks are pushing in when your dps die and you guys are fighting outnumbered Okay, so I see you guys are backing out again. Okay, so you guys are... To be honest, when I saw it earlier, I think... You guys were in 99 to 0, right? Yep. And I don't think after you guys lost a point, did you guys ever have a 6 on 6 again? Mm-hmm. Like that whole time was always like you guys are playing down. Um, so at this point, I think this is the first time when all your, when your teammates come back, that's the first time you guys grouped up. Um, so you guys, your break's gonna say it too, but basically you guys staggered a lot. Um, so one thing here so it's the this isn't particularly for matchmaking but like for just like when you're doing scrims and stuff with the team Mm -hmm. um what you guys want to generally be doing is at the end of a fight or before a fight you want to kind of plan what ults you're going to use yeah say what the enemy has say where you have uh and what you guys are gonna where you guys are gonna go what do you guys well what's the strategy right yep um i don't think you guys do it here it's matchmaking but for you, I think you could try to make a practice out of it too, if if that's something you yeah. want to do, um, just practice that. Okay. Yeah. Here, so you have nano, I guess. Let me see if you press tab. Did you press tab earlier? I press tab. Yeah, right, right there. Okay. Okay. So here, so you have nano, right? You guys have nano, cluster dragon, soldier ult, and brigle. Um, so I guess what's your thought process? If you had a combo with somebody, who would you do that with? Oh, uh, I guess the best uh, target here is a soldier for nano visor. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he, so. Honestly, at, at the at the time of the game, I wasn't even like, I don't even remember that we had a soldier to be honest. <laughs> I, like, was... I guess it was like we're one map down and like they were getting close to like ninety. It was, it was starting to like I guess like panic trying to set in. So I don't even remember the soldier being in the game. Yeah. Oh damn, dude. Damn. Unlucky. Holy. Uh, I think this guy, or one of this, one of your DPS played Doomfist and Genji. Oh, that's point. yeah, yeah, that's why he was he was Doomfist, yeah. Okay. I guess I just I just never like noticed the, never took in like fully took in the switch. Yeah, but I mean you're right. They're like I think I would have I would I would have combo with him. Like I would say, hey soldier, you want to do nano visor or something like that? You know, just like yeah. let him know it's coming. Um. But yeah, I guess at the time you you weren't really thinking about that so you, you weren't really able to say that to him mm-hmm. uh, you guys get a nice pick here from the hog yep. so you guys are up so nice time to move in ah so that's so that probably explains why you nano this this girl that, like the brig yep Yeah, I'm not sure why. Like, do you know why you might have nano her? Yeah, the the biggest thing was um, it was like low on health, mm-hmm. and like, I guess they were just going into fight, so I just felt rushed and was like, okay, forget it. You know, like I can ult the brig; it'd be a good target. Mm-hmm. 
help her build up whatever and also at the same time like it'll, it'll top her up and i get to like i guess engage quicker i guess that's the, that's like the process that was going on in my head got you um i mean i guess i i mean i could see it working um but you could have healed her up like easily here too yeah i realize i, I have a need yeah or just like a couple shots right each shot does yeah. uh 70 heals she only has like 200 or 250 one of those mm -hmm. so that could have been done really fast yeah. i just felt like so rushed like the whole game yeah i don't know yeah i was starting to, like panic i was like oh man here we go we gotta get on yeah i mean you just try to play a little bit more patient like i think then you can think a little better and you can yeah yeah do a lot better just be more in control yeah yeah for sure yeah uh so i just can't believe like i, I yeah i held tab for so long i didn't even notice soldier <laughs> yeah like, like that actually like looking back it's like how how the hell did i miss that holy yeah damn dude yeah just just try to press tab before at the end of a fight just like just think about it a little bit yeah mm -hmm. I don't think the brig was able to do anything with that nano. Hmm. Um, your soldier pops ult here. Like he, I think he did, he did really well here killing people, right? But I think with mm -hmm. nano he would probably like demolish them faster too. Yep. So yeah, it, we we talked about that. He probably would have been the better place person. Like, you could have done it with Hog as well too, but I think Nano Visor just sounds like a really nice. It just works well together. Yeah. Uh, I have a little problem with this, where, like, you're in the face of this Reinhardt. Like, I know your team's winning, but that also seems dangerous again. Like, if you could prevent that. Yeah. Okay. Somebody pushed him into you, though. Yeah. I think it was um, the brig. No. <laughs> I don't know if it was the brig or... I don't know. I guess it was... um With a Hammond, right? Maybe the Hammond rolled into him? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. I guess it was the brig. <laughs> oh, was the Hammond? I can't even tell. Uh, let's see. Either, the, either the, the brig whipped him or the Hammond rolled into him. Oh, yeah, I think Hammond... Ham or... Was it? It was the Hammond. It was the Hammond. Hammond's rolling yeah, now. Right there. Yeah. But yeah, that's unlucky, dude. Um, so, but you stay here too, so it's kind of interesting. I don't know I don't know if you could have done anything about it, but it does, you just kind of recognize it's, it's dangerous there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, so this fight was definitely one off. I think a large part of your soldier there, right? His soldier ult definitely gave you the advantage. Yeah. And I don't think the enemy had his their defensive ult, or else it would have been like traded. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I had a note here. Okay, so in general, right, let's just wait for the team comp here to settle. And... Yeah, I think Daughter goes on Ryan and Salmon goes on yeah, Zarya. Okay, so with this comp, if if you're just going to say now, if you had Nano and every, I guess who would be a nice target to, you know, just in general, like it, it won't happen that way exactly, but like who are nice people you could Nano here? <clears throat> well... Before today, I never knew, like, Zarya, I guess. Like, I never thought of Zarya, but before, like, I guess before, like, this chat, immediately looking at the comp, I would say Ryan's number one, and then it'd be mm -hmm. Rig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these guys. Um, yeah, those are, like, the two priority. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd say so. Like, is Ryan's, if you just boost him up, he's going to get his shatter super hard. He creates a lot yeah. of space with the nano. Um, Brig, yeah, it works out. Yeah, I think you're right. These three will be really nice here. Um. Mm -hmm. Just like a general thought, right? If if you were like, just helps your planning when you're playing the game. 
like okay maybe i should look for this hero this hero or this or one of these right yeah yep yeah so i mean it could be a nice thing if you just generally just try to when the game is about to start just like have a just have an idea of who you want to like nano just so when you actually do it you don't panic as hard or something like that Mm mm-hmm okay Yeah, that was like the blind fire there. <laughs> that was also like a really delayed. Like, I don't know why I fired that. It was kind of like instinct almost. Yeah, the sleep dart, yeah. Yeah, like I almost didn't expect the Hanzo to kill it, but then he did. That's a nice sleep dart, yeah. In hindsight, though, I don't know if that sleep was good, like, watching back, because our Zarya did have a bubble on her. E- so, like, I don't know if... E- is, that, is it here? Yeah. So, she had the bubble. So yeah, I, I guess... I just let her... Well, yeah, I don't know if you were thinking like that, but yeah. I mean, it's a nice sleep. The bubble would have gave her... Ch- she definitely got charged from that, but... I yeah, think the sleep was like, like it was like reactive. Like I kind of heard him coming, and I just fired it without thinking. So I should have maybe. Also, like, the w- weird thing is like, what happens if the Zarya wasn't there? <laughs> like, if he slept in, that'd been cool. Oh yeah. It, it's hard for me to say who he was actually charging at right here, as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like you're you're on the point. Like your whole team is, and then he does this. I think your Zarya just backs up. He's not even looking at the the Reinhardt, right? He's looking this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm I'm not sure. Like your sleep dart may have saved you if the Zarya didn't go backwards. I think. Yeah. Right, so it's, I guess that makes sense. He 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 actually yeah he did not mean to take that for you at all. <laughs> right. If we just look at it again, yeah. Yeah. You you saved your own life, man. Oh god. Okay. It's just lucky that Zarya was there too, yeah. Like I also had a problem on this map, like I don't know where to set up as Ana. Mm. Like, if I myself if you play the clip, I kinda like rotate around the pillar. But then like I never really like have like I guess it it doesn't help like my team's kinda like split up and like um, angles I can't see, but just as like a rule of thumb, like I guess like coming from like a, if we were to play this map as like Odyssey, like where would like the ideal like position be? Mm, yeah, you can play away from your team like in most places. I think like you have a lot of choices. I think I I don't think play on the point is a bad idea too, but you just kind of have to like back up when the fight's coming, mm-hmm. um, or just like you know, play corners um. I don't know, maybe somewhere like there, he would even be okay. Just like behind the pillar, or like even further back um, up yeah. here too. Okay. Uh, you could also play... And I'm also personally just trying to figure out what the best spots too. But like you can also... Maybe you could try playing here too. Like on the stairs. Just like a little bit back. So that yeah. your whole team is kind of like between uh, the enemy team and you. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know... <laughs> I guess you can also play these stairs too. I I, I guess somebody told me like a, a good thing that I heard was kind of you just envision that. Uh, let's see, there's. Um, let's see. So this is this is your team on this side. Oh, that's not that. Okay. It's kind of like somebody drew it kind of like a line, whereas like this okay. is, this is your team here, and then this is the enemy team. You just kind of, kind of, want to think about it as there's, you don't want to really be too close to the screen line as like your heat as a healer. Yeah. Um. So any place where you can find cover, and you're you're not like too close to the line, um, 
I think it's generally okay because it there's no right spot, but there's just like a, a lot of decent spots, and it changes so fast. Um, yeah. Right, because like, if, what happens if the line uh, goes like this way? Like, if you're the person standing uh, right here, you're really close to that line, so you're gonna be like kind of in danger. Yeah. So, so yeah, I guess you rotate. With yeah. The line. Yeah, yeah, so kind of, kind of like doing that, just like adjusting your position a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, so yeah, I don't know th what the best spot would be here. I, I generally just try to play back or behind okay. cover. So. Uh, your Reinhardt plays a little aggressive. So for me, um, I have put a note about this. I'm just let me know what you think about here. Um, you're you're gonna be doing a lot of unscoping um, for a few seconds here, and I'm not quite sure if you were in. It, it just seems a little bit off to me in terms of like. Right. I guess it's. Never mind. Just think about it. It's it's okay. I guess. Um. I think you're okay here, you're just chilling behind the Reinhardt shield, but as you know, like the Reinhardt may sometimes drop his shield without saying anything, right? Yeah. So it's not technically his job to just hold it like that, so you also have to make sure you're hiding behind something too. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to, nat I tried to grenade the Rhin, but then he randomly like charged to the right, and I was like, oh shit. Hmm. Okay, so I guess here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was another one. Star Fox, like, on point. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Too. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, technically, you could have gone on point for, like, 2%. Uh, so yeah, that's the, true. But, I mean, it's. It doesn't. I don't think it really matters there. You were going to die, anyways. It's kind of probably better to just die fast. You're not really going to do much. Just wait for the next. Yeah, so is, is it better to like in those scenarios just dive point and try to like suicide, or is it just better to try to like run away and like survive? Because like uh, I remember always hearing like if you just suicide point, you're just feeding them ult. But I guess if they hunt you down, we kill you regardless. Like they, you're still feeding it, right? But yeah, yeah. So it really depends. Like you're running, a, you're running away to regroup, right? So yeah. if you if you really think you're gonna die there, I think you should just like die fast. Mm, okay. Um, if certain scenarios though, where like if you're really close to ult, you probably want to go fight as well because you just want to just build your ult charge too. So maybe you don't want to run away there. You just do damage before you die. Mm, um. So okay. it really depends. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's okay. Um, you had a really nice aggressive nade on the enemy. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, I don't think this position here is that bad too. Like you're technically behind cover, you're okay. If the mm -hmm. enemy pushes up, you can just move. Yeah. And in this particular case, you don't really have like any tanks that could peel for you to like mobile tanks. So I think being yeah. close is okay too. Um, oh, okay. I think it was during the scrim I saw you where you, there was a few times where you're playing Zen, and you were yeah. playing really far back, and I think you got destroyed by Sombra a few times. Yeah, it was um that Busan map. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So I mean, like your whole team was pushed up too, and uh, you had a Diva, but he he's not really able to. You're pretty far back, so yeah. Sometimes it's okay to play close to your team, right? Just just trying to okay. figure it out, yeah. Because you were definitely like you were isolated there, so yeah. 
So I think you're okay here. Um. Yeah. So that's the one thing I noticed. Your brig was just like <laughs> aggressive as heck. Like your whole team's here. Um, he's yeah, he's all alone. Yeah, he's all in the corner. He's he's low health. You can't really help him. Well, you I guess you can kind of heal him, but <laughs> yeah, that was like a big like it's a strange place for him to be. Um, but lucky you have Reinhardt's just like killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like statements like that is funny to me. <laughs> See, like he's he's technically it sounds like he's filling then for looking for a group. Yeah, um, uh, it was a girl. She was uh, a support main. Yeah. But then she was like, "Yeah, I could play tank," and the group was like, "Whatever, sure." Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So I I've been unlucky a lot. At least it feels like I. Somebody picks like uh, the healer role, but they only play one healer, or they play tank, and they just don't want to play any main tanks or something like that. So I always, yeah. I like matchmaking better because it's like it's random. So that's true. Yeah. I mean, it's fun to play with friends though. Like if you play with like the scrimmates and stuff, like I, I assume you guys can like flex and play different things. Man, the 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 preseason game that I only played in one. But like the, that game was so much fun, like playing together in like a like a team setting. But it was like it was more competitive than competitive, you know. It was like I don't know, it was really good. It was it was a nice like, environment to be a part of. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's like a totally different game, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. So, so I guess, how are you feeling right now? About after watching this game? Uh, I mean, I guess like I never realized how how much I just blind fire and just um spam. Mhm. Mm yeah, kind of just like. Yeah, like when I hip fire, especially like I'm very um, I guess like trigger happy. Like I just kind of hold it down. Mhm. Mm but like when I do scope in, like I am more mindful. So it's like it's good to know like I can do that. So I guess it's just a matter of like, I guess, doing it more often. You know, just kind of like, kind of doing like like my scope shots, I treat like everything kind of more selectively and not just like spamming. Mhm. Mm yeah. I mean that sounds pretty good. That was like my biggest takeaway. Plus also, like I saw in another video and like you also like kind of reiterated again. Like it's always important as a support like just cover. Mhm. Mm and I find myself like very um in the heat of the moment, like kind of panicked and like kind of like in like really awkward positions. So I guess like going forward, just always be aware of um like self positioning, my own like my own like stats. Like I, I always like, I always look at my cooldowns, but I never I guess look at my health. Mm -hmm. So I guess just be more like hyper aware of like myself. Yeah. And positioning overall. Yeah, I think those are pretty good things. Um, I guess you kind of listed three things. Um, your the way you're aiming. I guess thinking more about how you're aiming, um, mm -hmm. managing your health a little bit better. Um, I forget. Was there another one that you said? That's uh, in positioning, like cover. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, those are generally big concepts. Um, but yeah. If you if you just like think about where you're going to move and just like practice doing those things. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna help you out a lot. Okay. Okay. Um. So we had a different one about. I, I saw your other one about mercy. Yeah. But I don't know. It seems like it's a lot of information. Did you want to just like hold off to that one until next time? 
Or did oh, you? Yeah. Or did you want to go now? Because I mean, I can like go through it pretty fast. Like just point out key points that I notice. If you want to do that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I don't want to take like too much of your time. No, it's just like it's. I guess I feel like well, every time I do a VOD review and every time I see somebody do a VOD review, like I'm like, oh damn, dude, I just did more thinking than in the game, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. Um, but yeah, I can. I can oh, you're out. you're not. Wait, you're a diamond support, right? Uh, I'm not a technical support. I mean, I I, I flex, but I really like playing okay. support. Um, especially yeah, Anna. I remember. I remember Frost, he was saying like, yeah, one of our uh, assistant coaches joining us, he's, um, I think he said diamond support, and I was kind of like, oh, that's like really cool, like, but I don't know if, like, I don't know if it was you, I, it must be you, because you're uh, the Well, I play, coach. I play all supports, I also play all tanks. Oh, okay. Except for Hammond. I'm not good with Hammond right now, so. Oh, I can't play Hammond at all. Like, I just don't get his mechanics. Yeah, yeah, I saw a hard blue play with uh, Hammond, and it just looks like he just rolls through people. And he hits four yeah. people and he gets a bunch of old charge and he does it again. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah, you just like kind of latch onto something and you just roll. That's all you do. And yeah. Then you what? You like fortify yourself and then you're impossible to kill and you roll out. Yeah. Um, but that's new. I mean, that's kind of like it's a different concept. You just like roll in, roll out, and I guess to me it doesn't seem like you're doing a lot of protection, so it's like a disruption thing. Oh yeah. I if think it was um. It was, it was our, it was, um, I think it was our, what's a preseason game? Mm, on Horizon. Which, okay. They had, um, I, I don't know if it was comp or if it was preseason, but I'm pretty sure it was preseason. They had a Hammond, I think, on first point. We were attacking Lunar Colony. Uh, oh, I do remember. Yeah, you, there was a Hammond. Yeah. And I remember, like, that was, like, he kind of just, like, goes in and he slams down. And like he lifts everyone in the air, and that was like, I guess like yeah, disruption wise, it was huge. Like it like kind of like put everyone low, and mm -hmm. like it won them the fight a couple of times. So I guess like, you play him right is always good, but I don't know. Yeah, I think that Hammond did some things that were right, and they also did a lot of feeding. Mm -hmm. In that game, yeah, and he also it seemed like he was also just like, it almost seemed like he was kind of memeing a little bit. He'd just be like <laughs> standing somewhere by himself when his team was like in spawn. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, generally, yeah, Hammond looks like he could be powerful if played correctly. Like a lot of pros and coaches are saying, like if you, they say Hammond has a really high uh, skill ceiling. Yes. So to play really, if you can master him, you probably like be really, really good. Mm -hmm, yeah. He has all that unblockable it's damage. Too. You say that, but when I play Hammond, I just die a lot. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely playing wrong. <laughs> Or maybe you know it's just low elo that people can't aim. So, uh, uh, well, I mean, technically, diamond is considered like l quite low too, compared to like the higher ones. I don't know. I I'm pretty sure I'm just playing wrong. <laughs> I have to. I probably just need to like, grind on Hammond for a like, quick play, and just get mm -hmm. get good at him. Cause yeah, I I don't really get him. Cause I like to play tank like creating space by walking okay, backwards, that. forward, and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but Ham and then like Winston has the bubble, Reinhardt has a shield, Ursa has a shield. Hammond just he doesn't really do that. Yeah, his whole thing is like literally slamming the earth and like getting out of. Yeah, or just like he's he's usually the disruption guy. Yeah. I mean, I've also seen him played with triple dive like Winston, Diva, and Hammond. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, yeah, I haven't figured out how he works yet. Probably should do that at some point. What is he gonna pick? Is he here? Oh, Star Fox again. Um. Okay, so like before the game starts, let's just look at the composition again. Um. So this guy's gonna pick Brig. Yeah. But I guess in general, I guess. What what do you think your job as Mercy should be here? Um, I guess like technically speaking, like Brig isn't uh, I mean with the new buff, like she's a little bit of a, a better healer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I mean, it, always in a pharmacy, it's always kind of like you're you're almost like the secondary healer with Mercy. Like you're kind of with the Fara, but 
Mm, I don't yeah, know. yeah. I mean, the brig doesn't do that much healing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It does seem like you're going to be with this Pharah for the most part. Um, yeah, I try. I try not to during the game because I realize like I don't think Star Fox plays anything else but brig. So uh, I realize like I kind of have to like filter on and off our targets. But mm, yeah, yeah. I right mean, down. a lot of times the Mercy does have to at some point go down to heal the, the team as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, but yeah, the hog could be able to take care of himself. Um, it just really also depends on how much damage your team takes. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, another thing that I've I've heard some like higher higher level mercy players do is they'll basically fly with the pharaoh, and then they'll they'll in the air they'll heal somebody else on your team. Oh, so yeah, they're they're out of like grounds cover like they're um not on the ground taking like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they use the Pharah for the going up and stuff. Yeah, and, like as an escape and stuff. Or just like stay up there and heal, and then just fly with the Pharah again. So, it seems like a pretty nice cool way to heal people in the air. Yeah, you don't have to go down the bottom or anything like that. Yeah. Um. So one thing I was like playing around with recently. Have you ever seen Mercy do the high jump before? The high jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. Okay, okay. Um, can you switch to the stream again? I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. Let me know when you see it. Yeah, I'm on the stream. Okay. okay. So you can probably look it up later too. But Mercy has this cool thing where. Is it the thing where you press shift and you um space it's, a, it's like this. Uh, hold on. Let me, just, let me see if I can get it right. Hmm. It is like it's like shift and control. Let me see if I can get it right. Oh, I think I've heard of this. And then you glide up, right? Yeah, it's like, like the hit. bunny jump thing. Let me see if I. I've like never been able to do it. You needed a doctor. Right, it oh, goes up, dude. but then. Uh, I. I mean, oh. I, I. Okay, I only started doing it recently, but I saw like a mercy player do it a lot, and she was doing it like naturally. It was pretty cool. <laughs> like like this, like. I'm ooh. taking care of you. Yeah. So if you, I don't know, like you, if you're gonna play Mercy for sometimes, it's probably like nice thing to go I'm with to you. try. Yeah, be able to move like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you can like. Uh, oh, that's really cool. What the hell? Then you can like Let's heal somebody here, and then like fly somewhere else, right? Damage boost engaged. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you can you can try that out. So you can practice the quick scoping for Anna and also maybe that the jump for Mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just you know more more tools for your kid. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna go back to. The... All right. <clears throat> So one thing here, like when you're flying the air, I kind of realized, or I guess you kind of realized it too, that somebody's really shooting you, right? Mm -hmm. And so that kind of, I guess, informs you a little bit where you're not really free to, they have a hit scan, so you're not really yeah. free to go fly around in the air mm -hmm. like that, because if the ash is pretty decent at aiming, um, a couple shots and you're dead. Yeah, right. I guess like a good aim. I I, I would have died right there. Yeah, because you actually went real. You got pretty low. It's... So they hit you twice, but the third bullet was. Them over time. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, dude. If they if he hit that earlier shot, you're dead already. <laughs> um, and then your team does have a main healer. Yeah, uh, it gets pretty rough. They're they're probably just gonna be playing really aggressive at that point. Yep. Um, I guess just 
I don't know, just like so at that point um so we know now we have to play safer you probably could have just played safer to begin with too um yeah but i guess i'm not really sure how you would you could guess maybe that they have somebody that can hit you guys in the sky um but just in general right it seemed like it's kind of that sort of idea of being open again like sure you're not you're you can move around a lot it's mercy but kind of like anna if you're playing the open and the person killed you that's kind of like your fault yeah okay yeah um one thing i noticed here is like I, you don't seem to uh, make a lot of communication or calls a lot um but one thing that could have helped you i guess help your teammate as kind of your fair i think up until this point still has no idea the enemy has a, a ash or a hit scan because later he's actually gonna get killed by one and he's like oh they have an ash so like if you just make simple calls like that yeah it could help like, i did call like i was getting hit but i guess i should have like been more specific i could have called for like like literally say like ash hitting or ash firing down main mm. Mm. okay right here i i don't so, so you're playing mercy you like to fly around like a lot but i find where you just went right now is to be kind of like you fly really close to the enemy team like multiple times. Yeah. Like, like some of, some of it's um a mechanical mistake. I do that uh you know that like, like glide fly where you press space and you like fly further. Mhm. Mm okay. I do that often and then like I overshoot my target and I end up in front of like the enemy for a bit, but I I like I survive somehow. Uh, should but, you should yeah. you did this at least three times. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I think it's like a mechanical mistake too there. Like I haven't played Mercy. Like, this is, like, first game I'm playing Mercy in, like, a, a while. Mm hmm So it's just kind of, like, mechanical errors and just overall, like, positioning awareness, I guess. Gotcha. Um, but, yeah, yeah, so just, like, just note that because you do that a few times where you you glide too far um, yeah. past your target. So maybe you can, like, you know, just practice that a little bit more. Like, maybe training room again or just, like, quick play or something. Just Okay. Because you are... Oh, well, I'll point out again later, but yeah, it's oh, it's a little bit off. Yeah. Okay. To me, that felt so. You dying there seems like it could have been avoided. Yeah, I fell off the ledge trying to heal the uh, Ryan, uh, Roadhog. <laughs> yeah. And after that, it was kind of like, oh, okay, where do I go? Yeah. Um, you guys are winning the fight here. Um, the Roadhog is... I guess I'm not really sure. Like he, He's he's kind of extended down there by himself. If you can't... Yeah. I guess you maybe you were trying to stay up there and you just fell off on accident. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it just seems like maybe you didn't have to do that. Yeah, okay. Right, because then now your team's going to be down a tank and a healer. I guess I would have tried to just stay... Well, yeah, again, it's, yeah, it's an accident that you fell off, but if you could probably try to stay up at the platform and heal him without going down. Yeah. Um, He definitely didn't seem resible there, so if he's about mm -hmm. to die, maybe you could have left him too. And just help the teammates that are next to you. Like you had three teammates, I think, that you could have. Uh, you guys could have held with that. So. Yeah. Okay. So just kind of like. I guess like uh, just better like. Priority, I guess. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, it. like I when I looked at him, he did only have like one bar of health. I should have like, instead of trying to like hero heal him, I could I could have just kind of um. Like yeah, he's like he's a dead target pretty much, right? Yeah, so, I think he was dead. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I think it was like on accident you fell down there. Yeah. It's also possible you could have rezzed him too after the enemy walked away. But... Mm, yeah, okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, cool. Got I think that was good. You rezzed in a safe spot. Every single shot. I think she's overpowered as well, to be honest. 
But yeah, I don't I don't play Mercy like too often. I, I usually like when I really have to. So yeah. I may not be like the best. You know, I I'm definitely not the best person for Mercy play. Um, there's a lot of really great streamers that play Mercy though. Yeah. Okay. Um. So if you wanted to, if you were gonna play Mercy more often, you could probably like look at them. I can link you like a couple that I saw later too. Okay. I only know one, but. Um, they kind of like fell off ever since like Mercy got like ner nerfed. It was um, what's his name, Evie? Oh, Evie. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him. But now, oh. but now he's like Diamond now. Like he used to be like GM. No way. Wait, he fell because because of that. Yeah, like he just yeah, like plus like Mercy's like not like as viable anymore. Hmm. So like, he just like, yeah, like he used to be like GM and stuff. But now he's like last time I saw him, he was like like a uh, Diamond. Um. Let me see, I think there's somebody called this person? I think animatic? I think person's on Twitch. Person doesn't communicate though. Like they just Animatic. Yeah, they have YouTube videos a lot where they write text to say what what's going on, but they don't oh, communicate during the game. Um that sucks, okay. But the, but if you look at the way they play the game though, like uh it's I think it's a girl. Uh, so her movement with Mercy is like amazing. To me, because she's doing that bunny jump, uh, mm. she's constantly in like pretty nice positions. I'd say, yeah. Okay. So if you look at her the way she positioned, I think you can like learn something from that. Okay. Well, I guess I could have read that Ryan. Maybe could have. It looked like it was like really close. Like it was about to go away too. Yeah. 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 You maybe could have. Yeah. Yeah. This road we were playing with was literally on a flanking mission every uh every opportunity he could. And he was getting picks though. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I also like when I jumped in there, like I did not know. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. The entire team was there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's kind of what I was gonna say too. Cause you, you basically flew in there, and it's like, hello, right? The whole enemy is there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it, it seems like a bad spot. Cause I think you're 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 almost like frontlining it right here. Yeah. And good thing you can go back, but Fair is not so lucky. Yeah, so it's kind of the idea again, like just playing in safe spots as a healer, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can help your teammates out a little bit better. So. Um, so for me, it's it's like a minor thing here. It's not your gameplay as Mercy here, but in a team game, it's kind of nice to know when enemies use ultimates and stuff, right? Yeah. So right here... Um, So I guess your team knows they use more ult, but the one that I'm actually interested in is this dude. Yeah, Ryan. He did it at the end of a fight. It's it's a waste of chatter. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think if you called it out, I don't know if your teammate would have seen it. Um, but I think if you called it out, that'd be kind of like nice. Your whole team knows this guy doesn't have shatter. Yeah. Um, it makes it easier for your Ryan to do the Ryan battles too, because he can be. I think he can play a little bit more aggressive. Because a lot of times when you play Ryan on versus Ryan, you have to play these mind games. Yeah. Uh, you drop your shield, they shatter you. You fire strike, they shatter you. Um, yeah. So it's just it might be easier for your Ryan, but it, in general, it's just nice to know what ults the enemy has. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like in in I guess if we were playing a scrim right now, I guess I would like you to like say something like that. Just call it out. Yeah. So it looks like your Reinhardt's close to Shatter.
Shit, I think it's right here where I fly too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that. definitely another one. Yeah. Like that Reinhardt's cleaving you like up front. <laughs> yeah. So the same problem as before. You're just flying too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just point out if you see anything else that seems like you could work on positioning too. Hold up. Yeah, okay, so in situations like this, like, mm -hmm. is what I did, like, good? Like, diving into the spot? Or... Uh, well, of course, so why... I guess for me, it's like, what, what makes you want to do that? Like, what's your reasoning for that? Like, for me, it was kind of like the, there's a fight engaging. Mm -hmm. So I guess, like, being able to, like, pocket, like... I guess like the tar target right there, he's taking like half health. I've they taken note like he's like injured, or like he's taking damage, so kind of flying in. Uh, I, mean, I guess you could, but I also see like here, it seems dangerous to me because you're gonna fly right into. So right here, your roadhog Ryan. is f yeah, he's fighting a Ryan right here, mm -hmm. I think, and you're gonna fly, you're gonna fly right into the Ryan. So you could go help the hog out, but what happens if you die? instead okay um you you maybe you could have done something like maybe chill here i don't know and you can heal him too just mm. just uh just play around distance but i don't think this is like super good here well i guess sounds like somebody charged him Oh, your Reinhardt got charged, I think. Yeah, I guess like if there's a if it was like, I'm like yeah, I could have got charged there. Yeah, you could have. Yeah. I mean, I guess you couldn't. You you probably wouldn't be able to know. But it's just like because you don't know, maybe don't be as eager to jump in like that. Mhm. Mm because okay. you know it could be bad. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, right there another one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's pretty close, man. Yeah. Um, to me here, I find, I think your spot to me, um, is okay, but I also feel like it's the same idea with Anna, where when the enemy comes in, you want to be able to find cover and stuff like that, because I think you. Yeah. You might be playing in the open for a large part of this thing. Right, this is okay, I guess. See, yeah, I was trying to use that orange, like the the beam. Yeah, 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 I saw that. But yeah. I guess like the line was right there, so. Yeah, but I see the idea. I mean, that's not as bad. Um, that part's unlucky. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even notice I was getting hit. I, I thought it was like I thought it was, I thought it was the Bob firing at me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I realized it was a mercy. So I say that one is also kind of bad too. What you just did yeah. there. It's it's again it's like you're flying too far, yeah. Yeah, he like flew into the dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Um, for your mercy, do you use like a? I guess how do you stop that? Do you use toggle or you just do the hold? Oh, uh, I oh like my beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or to when yeah, you fly to somebody. Um... Sorry, when when you fly to someone with Guardian Angel, do you hold the button to to travel the distance and then let go, or do you have to press to go and then press to stop? Uh, it's I think it's um I have to hold it. Okay, okay. So you you're basically holding it, and I guess in this case you're just you're saying you're just you're just jumping at the end, is it? Yeah, like I'm doing like the, because I think I'm, there's like a Mercy Tech where you you shift and you jump and it gets you like farther. Mm-hmm. 
So I like I do that a couple times, like especially like when I flew to the road dog once. Mm-hmm. I literally landed like maybe like five meters past him and then right in the enemy line, and like road dog was like behind me now. Yeah. Well, so I guess I'm wondering, is there a reason for you wanting to do those techniques? Wait, sorry. I guess is there a reason for you wanting to do the jump at the end, or is that just like a something? No, you that's know? just yeah, it's just like mechanical, like that's like a tick, I guess. Like I just like jump around when I play, like tap my thumb. Okay. Kind of happens like accidentally. Like yeah, even when I play like most heroes, I kind of like just jump around and like mm. move around and stuff. Yeah, I like it with Doomfist a lot, where you like punch and then jump at the end, you go a little further. Yeah, yeah. Um. But I guess, yeah, but yeah just, most of those like glides were mistakes pretty got much you, got you yeah so i guess if you just start reminding yourself every time you make that mistake to like mm-hmm. just r- remember like oh don't jump too far that might help you out too like just thinking more a little bit or like breaking yeah. these bad habits because it's definitely correctable like you, you see yourself doing it mm-hmm. So right now your teammate said something about not needing a junk rat, um, because they have a fara. Um, I mean I think that's generally true, but I, I guess yeah. it's not like so black and white again. Like you got you have people you can do a lot of fara v fara battles too, and yeah, stuff like that, right? So it's it's not like I guess I'm just trying when I heard that it was like it makes sense, but it's not it's not totally black and white. So it really depends. Yeah, I think I think even in the clip he was like, we definitely need to switch off unless their fara is bad. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. I think this is really aggressive positioning by our fire right here. Mm, yeah, it could be. Oh, yeah. oh, never mind. I thought it was a different one. Yeah, okay, right there. Kind of just like ulted. But I guess he, oh, I guess he did get both supports. Yeah, I think that was like a, a hasty ult from him. Yeah. So I, I just thought of it. I don't even know if it's like it's a good thing or not. But I wonder if he had that bunny jump. If you just fly up on top of that pillar, right here. Mm. Uh, well, okay. I mean, I don't know if it's a good spot because there's ash up there. But no, I mean, but kind of interesting to see if you could do that too. Or you'd be able to, I guess, if you had, if you could do that bunny thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I skipped a little bit. Sorry. Um. So here, I had I had a note here about your res. Mm, okay. So your fair dies, and to me, I feel like uh, you you could probably communicate that you're gonna res because yeah, okay. I think the per the person that you're relying on to protect you from that is your Reinhardt mm-hmm. like right here but then the enemy is also pretty close by and he actually I think he walks away your Reinhardt walks away from me here or, or I, I'm not he stepped back but then I think when I went in he stepped forward again yeah yeah but I mean just to make it more clear if you just like call it you say hey Ryan I'm, I'm gonna go uh, res so he's prepared beforehand I think that'd be good okay. All right, so like overall communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like even like uh, like uh, I guess I always like the team games when you do scrims. Uh, when you're trying to res, you can ask the diva to eat the mat- uh, eat- use matrix on you. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, I can do bubble on you. Uh, like people can even body block for you. And it's like all those things. Like, you mm-hmm. just have to let them know. Cause I had a teammate who played uh, Mercy, and I was playing off tank a lot. Um, I had to work. Ex- a little bit harder because he would never tell me when he's going to res, and he just <laughs> he just does it. Uh, so yeah. I I really had to just keep my eye on him a little bit more to just protect him because I because he went for those reses where he'd be like frontlining it, and so if I didn't yeah. protect him, he's dead. So okay, that's true. But yeah, so just communicate out, and I think you'd be okay. Like it's a I think it's a good thing you res there, but just yeah, just let yeah. people know. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that. Just seeing that bomb, just avoiding it. It's good. Mm -hmm. He's going for Diva. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. There, you're both shooting. So, I, I kind of get this, that you're shooting the pharaoh that's shooting you. Um, but I'm not quite sure if I would be doing that. As well, because yeah. I think you could, you could have, you could have been, I guess, healing a teammate or doing something else as well. Yeah, that's true. Um. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. I just, I just, I don't like the play, but I'm not really sure if you could have done anything else too. You could have healed somebody. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have healed the. Uh, uh, what's it called, Farah? Let's see what happened. Yeah. Alright, so you're with the fire. Oh yeah, you ditch him. Yeah. And he gets he gets smashed by the ash. Uh, the ash is I think it's right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it, I guess I can see a different way if if you pocket the pharaoh, maybe your pharaoh would have killed the ash. Yeah. The chance of getting like a double. She hit you three times. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of like a chain effect. Like I guess I'm not really sure what would have happened, but if we could see us, we could see something where you pocket the pharaoh, the pharaoh kills ash. And then the ash won't kill you guys or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but generally, yeah, I, I guess I I like it if you're healing more than doing battle mercy, especially when. Yeah, I think you you be better off healing. Yeah. Okay. Like it's nice to finish off those slow targets as mercy. Like sometimes you have to do battle mercy, but yeah, just healing priority. Like here, this is probably okay. I guess there instead of like shooting, I could have just um like damage boosted somebody else to kill. Oh yeah, you could have done that too. Yeah. Yeah. You had a teammate that liked to play Battle Mercy a lot too, and uh, it was problematic because he our tanks would die a lot because because <laughs> there's times where if he pocketed the tank, the tank would do the job that the Mercy was trying to do anyways. Yeah. And, and then the tank would be alive as well. Plus, like, the tank would do it better, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Mercy's ball. taking, like, a few seconds to kill. To the tank would take, like, a few swipes. And... Yeah. And, uh, I didn't get any indication that our fair is any good because I didn't see her much. Do you guys prefer the Mercy or would you want to go on to the next one? I'll be watching all of you. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, hey, how often do you play Overwatch? Um, I I it took a huge break from it, like uh maybe like two to three months or four months almost. Mm -hmm. was, like it got, it got I got like so tilted and like triggered from it, like it was like I wanted to get out of gold so bad, but like I literally just like I couldn't. Mm -hmm. But then um, I just kind of like started like realizing like you know what like it's just a game, play to have fun and like don't take it too serious and then. Mm -hmm. After that, literally after that, I signed up for Outlet, and then I played some comp games, and I immediately got the platinum like the the same day. Damn, that's awesome! Like I just started playing, kind of like I started playing to play instead of like to win, and just kind mm -hmm. of like playing to like have fun and stuff. And like I don't know, it, maybe it was just like a mindset thing, but yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, definitely helped me. Um, man, yeah, that's that's awesome, dude. Like I, I notice sometimes when I when I play over like 10, 20 games in a day. Like, I burn out, and I think I play really bad. Yeah. I think this is okay here, but... Um, it's not really something like... Analyze too much, but... There are times where... It's really small, but you could do damage boosting when the run's doing a hit, or something like that. Because he was getting frozen yeah. by the May, but... 
I, I don't know. Maybe if you damage boost him, he could do more damage to the May, and he could kill the May earlier or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. But just like bouncing it out, just like thinking more about when you're gonna do it. I think it was okay there, but in in general, I guess it's something to think about. Like when to damage boost, when to heal. Okay. But I feel like your team basically just rolled the first. You guys just win like just by rolling them. Yeah. Our road dog was pretty good. <laughs> For the most part, yeah. He killed a lot of stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, this is such a bad death here. Oh man. I have a note about something at uh, 1238. Maybe that's what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the... I get killed by the Widow. That's pretty stupid. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm not quite sure what you could have done here. You got to ask for help or something, but. Yeah. Because I heard, um, I think our fire does say, like, I'm going to dive the Widow if, if you pocket me, Mercy. Yeah. And I know the fire is to my left. I'm like, okay, so let's go right now. So I tried to fly to her. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. Um, I got picked midway. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. Maybe you could have. It seems like if you went out, you're going to die, which that's what happened. Um, I wonder if you could have. Maybe just instead of doing that, you could ask Farrah to distract or something. Or you could just make this oh. rotation down here and just say, hey, Farrah, oh. wait, wait a second, I'm, I'm getting, like, attacked. Or just, like, communicate it out. Um, yeah, okay. But it does, yeah, it seemed like it was pretty unlucky. Like, you, you run walks through and you kind of miss that little chance, then you're stuck. Like I, or I guess I could have flown to him, too, but then... Yeah, you could have, yeah, but then at this point it's like, oh shit, what do you do, yeah. But it definitely seems a little risky here, because, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a game of chance here. <laughs> yeah, so I think when he said that, I was like, okay. I was looking for him, and then I just got sniped. Mm. But lucky for you, I think your, t your team just clutches this out. Yeah, literally, I, yeah. But yeah, so like I think more communication with Mercy, um, and just working on just not flying too far could help mm. you out. Yeah, so communication in terms of like when you're resing, what where enemies are, yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are the big points. Um, but yeah, I'm not I I don't play Mercy too too often if i can help it because i guess personally i feel like i'm not i'm i'm not as effective when i'm playing mercy yeah uh, that's just me though because i like anti people and sleeping people i I think i like anna more because she seems to be she can heal faster from you and do more damage yeah i feel the same way too like when i'm um playing mercy sometimes it's almost like i could be doing more with like a different healer but then Sometimes like the, like the your comps is kind of like no man just play mercy be fine, and you're like kind of like thrust into the role. Yeah. But yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like where you feel like you could be doing more. Mm, a part of it has me thinking. Yeah, it is a healer. But another part is also, if I had if a GM mercy was playing for me, they probably could do obviously a better job with it. And mm -hmm. part of it just me is my inability right to play the hero. Um. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, okay. it's, I guess it's, I don't know. Like, that's just me, though. But there's other people who I know who they love playing Mercy, and they, they're able to carry games as Mercy, even with the nerfs and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so a few things that we kind of covered today. Um, your Ana positioning, the, the way, I guess just think about more about when you're shooting as Ana. Um your mercy mechanics not flying too far yeah um calling out reses um and then anna i guess pay attention to your health again you know? yeah okay um yeah did you have any questions no i think that's mainly it okay um uh, I, s yeah. I saw somebody else do this before so i kind of want to try this um what do you think were things that I guess you were doing pretty well in those videos? 
Uh, I guess like there were times where my positioning was uh like bad. Mm-hmm. But I think overall, like I did do a good job of um trying to stay back line, trying to like know like like trying to know my role, like trying to like not go DPS support. Like I trying to like for the most part, like there were like flashes of it, right? Like especially like the Ana on the Junkrat or the Mercy on the Fara. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I think I do try to like. Sometimes I do get panicked and like I I I'm like lost in it, but I do try to like think about cover and I do try to like have my positioning right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Especially I think so. Before, like, that's a major uh, improvement I see in myself. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's like my, my main thing. Just like overall positioning is not like bad. It's not terrible. Like obviously it could be a lot better and like I guess I can like as elevate like where my gameplay goes, but. I think overall, I think positioning is one of my, like, like an okay point for me. Yeah, I think so. I think you played pretty safe for the most part. Um, There's a, yeah, the occasional too aggressive or just, like, playing mm-hmm. the open. But you, I did yeah. see, like, the other time where you were playing in uh, Nepal, where you were just playing the pretty back. Like, that, that was pretty good. Um, I don't know if that position was totally helpful there, but just, like, the idea of playing yeah. back, you were doing that a lot. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and um i think that's i don't have like a lot of zen footage but like i do um, one thing yeah. i like one, th- one thing i like about my zen is like i do i'm like decent with like burst shots like if i am getting 1v1 by uh kind of like a flanker like i do have like success here and there like kind of like killing off like the tracers or whatever with like burst shots and stuff but i don't have any of that footage or anything but yeah okay um yeah i mean we can look at that like a different time too. If you have any footage, we can look at that too. Um, mm-hmm. A different different okay. time, yeah. Um, and yeah, we were talking about it a bunch of time, but I think you you kind of know what you could work on, right? Just at least think about for your other games. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Um, so yeah, I gotta go, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely down to do it again a different time because I think. It was kind of nice to just analyze the footage a little bit. Yeah, it was good. It was awesome, man. Like, thanks a lot for your time and stuff. That's great. You're no problem. All right. Um, so I don't know. I guess when the next like team practice or like scrimmers, scrimmage uh, or anything. Did right? you fill out that um that survey already? The one for uh the practice schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, I haven't talked to um the head coach yet. I mean, I think he's waiting for everybody to fill it out before he does anything. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can go ask him and see, but yeah, I, I don't know. But if you just have, if you have any more questions before then, just, yeah, let me know. Okay, for sure. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. See you. All right, see ya.